Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Faster Than Light with Dr. Arcanus. So, I noticed that my volume last time around was a bit high, so you couldn't very well hear me. Bad English right there. But, everything should be fixed right now, and we'll continue our journey through the vast space of endlessness. Yes, yes, yes. So, we're on the third sector now. Where do we want to go? Angai Homeworlds or Civilian Sector? Homeworld seems a bit more interesting, so let's go there. Ah, now let's see. We have arrived in Angai Space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go this way. And I'm running out of fuel fast. See a small. Carrier, uh huh. Uh huh. Nothing interesting here. There's a store. No, thank you. I have not enough scraps for it. A ship refueling station is stationed at this beacon. A ship refueling station is stationed. Station is stationed. I hope so. We can purchase fuel here. I will buy six fuel. Thank you for your business. This dress beacon time. So let's see. <clears throat> you arrived to find a ship floating among some debris. Hello, our impulse drives are shot and we can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? Well, excuse me, but I just bought this. <sighs> but I'll try to be nice and I'll give them for fuel. Thank the gods, we can finally get out of here. We're jumping straight home, so take this extra weapon. We won't need it, hopefully. Weapon Hobeam. Now, what is this? <clears throat> this looks... I can't use it. Oh, or can I? No, I can Yes, I can. So, hope beam. Can I attack you? No, I cannot. Hmm, let's see, what does the hope beam do? This beam is, mo is the most powerful. Oh, well, this beam is most powerful when targeting large, empty sections of hull. Note, beam damage is reduced by one for every shield it passes through, which allows for partial shield piece piercing. Okay. Okay. So, this looks like a useful thing to have. I'll go and sell all the other things. They sell drones. Well, I don't have drone systems or the freaking things to use them. So, I'll sell this. I'll sell this, because I honestly do not need them. Great. Now I can't even buy this. <sighs> what a pain. Anyways, let's buy more fuel, because we need the fuels. The fuels we need. Now. Let's see, I will try to get... Uh, I'll try to not get caught by the rebel fleet. And let's see what happens here. You arrive near a small fleet of civilian Angai ships. A simple decryption and translation of their comm frequency tells you that they are having a frantic discussion about something obviously troubling them. Message them and ask if you can help, or ignore it and move on. Well, I have nothing to do with my life, so I will message them and ask for help. Ask to help them. Uh, slightly shocked at your question, their leader quickly responds, Decline offer with apologetic gratitude. Topic of discussion, private matter, no concern the Federation. Oh, so this might be... So, everything depends on the ship you have. I have the Kestrel, so I'm a human ship. If I had the Engai Cruiser, I might have interacted with them, because they're of the same race. So, everything depends... Uh, this was probably one of the missions, to unlock another ship. But, I did not have the proper beginning to interact with them, so I will have to continue. You arrive at the Smoldering Engai Research Station. Research station. It is, it is this cr it's call unanswered, attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. There may be someone left alive, or else something of value left on board. Board the station. Your away team reports a wounded end guy in a functioning drone schematic. Then someone yells, The station reactor is overloading and they're running out of time. Do I save the end guy? Do I save the drone schematic? Or do I save myself? <sighs> Damn you, moral choices. I'll save the end guy. Your crew returns safely to the airlock with the injured Engai, and you put some distance on the station before it blows. The Engai, impressed by your crew, volunteers to join you. Well, what if I didn't want you to join me, huh, Nathan? <sighs> Fine, you can stay with us. 
I will put you to work at the uh, engine room. Great. Now I have another mouth to feed. How delightful. The end guy can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The end guy high with his beacon or selling equipment for just that. Now, I don't need drones and I don't need systems for now. But I will need more fuel, so let's buy more fuel. Great. So, I am a little bit scared of this rebel invasion. See, these are awesome random events. Debris from a battle is scattered around the system. A few pieces bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover there is a function and weapon among them. A firebomb and 19 scrap. Great. So, as you see, the augmentation I have that lets uh, my ship regenerate when I find scrap is currently working. Which is great. And I have a firebomb. Hmm. What? Bomb weapon requires a missile, does no damage, but lights fires. Can target your own ship. Why would I ever target my own ship? Nobody knows. There are a number of merchant ships passing through the area. That's it? Nothing interesting? <laughs> At this point, I will never get through this game. You arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. I will participate in the what? As soon as you dock, pirates burst on board and a hostile ship appears on the radar. You hear the Zoltans yell in the distance. We're being held hostage. Well, no freaking da. Oh god! Um, this is not going well, so what should I do, um, focus this and try to do as much damage as you possibly can, ooh, I can target fire, so the more, okay, so basically I have to put where the laser goes, and it goes through one system, two, three, four, five, and in the meantime I will try and, oh god, Run, run, Mr. Rengai, run. Don't die, Charlie. Don't die. Oh God, no. So there's absolutely nothing good at the moment. Great. Oh God, we're going to die. I don't like this at all. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Okay, I have my shields are down. Great. Um the pilot seat is on fire. My doors are shut. <sighs> and my people are dying. This is crap. What am I supposed to do? Why don't you kill people? You kill them. What the fuck? <laughs> Go save him! What? No! Okay, this is very, very bad. Very, very bad. You go- oh god. Arcanis, go somewhere else. You go here. Try to not die. I don't wanna die. <laughs> I think we- oh god, no! <laughs> Um, um, yeah, so, hmm, interesting, <laughs> like I said, this game is unforgiving, it is ridiculously unforgiving, it will beat you when you fall down, and it will keep kicking you in the groin, game freaking over. Well, what is this, like, episode 2? This must be the shortest series ever. <laughs> uh, God. Okay. New game. This time I'm going to use the Enkai Cruiser. And these are my peoples. So. My name is Daughter Arcanis. Oops. 
Oh, Regan, no. Sean or Regan, no. Well, you will be. Hmm. This is gonna be my dream team. Tot Total Halibut. No, Total. You know what? I'll call you Total Biscuit for now. Total Biscuit. Let's see. Husky. 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 Ah. Fanboy will be fanboy. So basically, this is a different. Um, this this is a different ship with different features. I already have drones, and I have an ion blast, which does no damage but damages shields. So I renamed this something I forgot to do last time around. I'll call it. Hmm. The internet. So this is basically in a faraway future where the internet has be has become a sentient virtual reality program and we will conquer the universe. I agree with this. And I already have an augmentation which is the end guy might bought this parcel. Basically my guys heal wherever they are on the ship. Death, remember, losing is part of the fun. No, I'm serious. Well, a lot of freaking fun I'm having. <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, this is a very fun game. So, Husky, you go on the shields. Total Biscuit, you go on the weapons. And I will go on the pilot seat. Yes. If Husky or Total Biscuit are watching this, I apologize for using your names. But I love your work. So, I will. Yeah. Anyways. Let's continue on to our journey. Great. Ah. Nothing personal, but we're under orders. Well, go fuck off then, huh? <sighs> so, I will use anti-ship. And, basically, I'm just going to focus your shields while my drone dude kills you. No. Yeah, so basically, this ion blast uh, will short circuit their systems for a short time so they are not usable so this way I will yeah you see the weapon systems are down and the drone will just take care of everything great you're considerably more well armed than I thought we surrender you know what I'm gonna be nice and I'll get this I'll let them live and I got an augmentation out of it great Okay, an advanced rebel automated chip. Yes, advanced. I'm in level one, you twit. Ah, you insolent twat. This game is unforgiving. So, attack the automated chip. And let's try not to die now, shall we? Don't die. No. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha No, you stay here. Don't die. Now, shields are very annoying. So now that they're down, I'll try to do more damage to it. Come on, drone. Why don't you kill something for once? They're useless. Useless. Yes. Do permanent damage. Aha, the drone is offline, see? See? Good job, drone. And this game is pretty much, well, this fight is pretty much over. I got 17 fuel. <laughs> 15 scrap and your station was, what? It's abandoned or disturbed clade. Well, fuck off, FTL. This game is full of death. And, oh, as soon as you arrive, a small mantis ship detaches from a wreck and jumps away. You must have interrupted this salvage operation because you find a weapon ready to be installed. Great! I have a small bomb, which I have no missiles for. On unvisited location. This game is pretty, f you know, fast-paced. It's pretty straightforward. And, oh, this must be the mantis scout that I was just... interacting with. Now we will do the same thing as we always do. Pinky. We'll take over the world. We'll try to take over the world. Die shields. 
So you've probably heard of this game before, or you've been living under a rock. In any case, this is a very underrated indie game. If it's an indie game, I'm not sure anymore. But it's a very underrated game. It's one of the best from this year, I gather. And it's pretty simple. The graphics may not be anything of much, but... Since when has gaming been about graphics? It's about the gameplay. And the gameplay here is amazing. They're just... There is... This made me want to play more roguelike games. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Attack the pirate ship. Because I'm a badass. Oh dear lord. I'll try not to die. Up. Now I just have to... Just don't, I just don't fire missiles at me and I'll be fine. No. No. <laughs> There's a missile incoming, isn't it? Don't die. Yes. No. Crap. Missile incoming. No. No. <laughs> Looks like they don't want to fight. Well, why'd you send missiles at me then? You asshole. <laughs> oh, not a wrestle. No. Ah. Uh, missiles are very, very, very un unforgiving. Yay, I found a drone. This game's a little bit easier. A distress beacon. Let's go save some race peoples. Go down to the service to investigate. You find a man living alone in the cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it seems he's been here for many years. His mental state is questionable. So, this is an interesting part. I can either bring him back to my ship in hopes of finding some help for him, or I can leave him and not risk it. You know what? I'm gonna take him. Hmm, he seems to improve immensely upon getting back to the ship. So, he didn't murder one of my crewmates. Great. So, oh my god, I got, look at this guy. Look at this, I got a rock giant with me. Great. He, he should he should pretty much come here. And I will go somewhere else. This is a pretty cool game. Nothing is of interest here. Yeah, but um, the random events seem to be too random. Like, look at this. I got... I'm getting drones which I do not need and I'm getting weapons that I cannot use. Explore the asteroid field. Discover the remains of a ship embedded into an asteroid. Still has some functional missiles. Great, I have missiles now. And I am going to exit. So thank you for watching. Well, never mind. Okay, mercenaries are swarming the galaxy now. Knowing that their last and legal services are in demand during this period of unrest, one is waiting at this beacon and hails you. You have no need of his services. Fight the ship, mercenaries are worse than rebels. The only honorable course is to engage the mercenary in battle. And kill his family. So, let's go and kill people. Unless he kills me, then that'll be the end of this. Death to you! Oh, they have missiles. Run from the missiles. Run! Ah, he fired one. No! Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Everybody go repair them. Repair. This must be the gayest thing ever. Okay, Husky, go back to your shields. God damn it. You know what? Stop with the missiles. Stop it. I don't enjoy it. Okay, they offer you some of their goods if you don't destroy their ship. I will accept your offer because I will probably die. <laughs> well. Thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoy it, as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, uh, forward, uh, send, share, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, blah, 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 blah. 
and I will see you in the next video and hopefully not die a slow and painful death.